today's channels. Before we start, here are some tips to help your posture if you sit a lot in front of a computer. First, support your back. Second, adjust your chair. Third, rest your feet on the floor. Fourth, place your screen at eye level. Fifth, have the keyboard straight in front of you. Sixth, keep your mouse closed. Seven, avoid screen reflection. Eight, avoid wearing bifocals. Nine, make stretching every 30 minutes. Third, you are now ready to begin. In this video, you will learn about the proponents of electromagnetic wave theory, principles of electromagnetic wave theory, and regions of electromagnetic spectrum. Our topic is based on the most essential learning competency, MELT Week 1 and 2. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to first differentiate scientists that contributed to the formulation of electromagnetic theory. Second, discuss the basic principles of electromagnetic wave theory. Third, describe the regions of electromagnetic spectrum. Before we start, let's have a short warm-up about electromagnetic theory. Ischanos, are you familiar with the Korean drama series Squid Game? Very good! Okay, let us use the famous Squid Game. Write green if the statement is correct and red if not. Are you ready? Okay, very good! Number one, electromagnetic waves transfer energy through vacuum. You have 5 seconds to answer. Okay, the answer is green. Electromagnetic waves differ from mechanical waves in that they do not require a medium to propagate. This means that electromagnetic waves can travel not only through air and solid materials, but also through the vacuum of the space. Second, a wave is a disturbance that transfers energy. Okay, you have five seconds to answer. Okay, the answer is green. A wave is a disturbance that transfers energy from one place to another without transferring matter. Waves transfer energy away from the source or start in place of energy. The contact of raindrops or a stone on the surface of water is a source of energy from the water waves. Okay, number three. Most EM waves are invisible and undetectable. You have five seconds to answer. Okay, the answer is red. While most of EM waves are invisible, they aren't undetectable. They're detectable. Such waves include, but not exclusive to, UV rays, infrared light, radio waves, and gamma rays. Here are some scientists that contributed in the formulation of electromagnetic theory. Hans Christian Orsted, August 14, 1777, and died March 9, 1851. Danish physicist and chemist who discovered that electric current in a wire can deflect a magnetized compass needle, a phenomenon which was rapidly recognized and which inspired the development of electromagnetic theory showed how current carrying work behaves like magnet. Andre Marie Ampere, born January 20, 1775, and died June 10, 1836. 
French physicist who founded and named the science of electrodynamics, now known as electromagnetism. His name endures in everyday life in the ampere, the unit for measuring electric current. Most important was the principle that came to be called Ampere's Law, which states that the mutual action of two lengths of current carrying wire is proportional to the lengths and to the intensities of their currents. He made the revolutionary discovery that a wire carrying electric current can attract or repel another wire next to it that's also carrying electric current. Demonstrated the magnetic effect based on the direction of current. Michael Faraday, born September 22, 1791, died August 25, 1867. English physicist and chemist whose many experiments contributed greatly to the understanding of electromagnetism. He was the first to produce an electric current from a magnetic field, invented the first electric motor and dynamo, demonstrated the relation between electricity and chemical bonding, discovered the effect of magnetism on light, and discovered the name diamagnetism, the peculiar behavior of certain substances in strong magnetic fields. Best known for his discovery of electromagnetic induction. James Clerk Maxwell, born June 13, 1831, died November 5, 1879. Scottish physicist, best known for his formulation of electromagnetic theory. An English scientist to develop a scientific theory to better explain electromagnetic waves. He noticed that electrical fields and magnetic fields can couple together to form electromagnetic waves. Maxwell discovered that a changing magnetic field would induce a changing electric field and vice versa. Contributed in developing equations that showed the relationship of electricity and magnetism. Heinrich Hertz, born February 22, 1857, and died January 1, 1894. German physicist who showed that Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell Jury of electromagnetism was correct and that light and heat are electromagnetic radiation. Applied Maxwell Jury to the production and reception of radio waves. The unit of frequency of a radio wave one cycle per second is named the Hertz in honor of Heinrich Hertz. He proved the existence of radio waves in the late 1880s. He used two rods that served as a receiver and the spark gap as the receiving antenna, where the waves were picked up, a corresponding spark would jump. Showed experimental evidence of electromagnetic waves and their link to light. Principle of electromagnetic waves. Many natural phenomena exhibit wave-like behavior. First is water wave. Water waves are surface waves, a mixture of longitudinal and transverse wave. Ground shaking used to describe the vibration of the ground during an earthquake. Ground shaking is caused by body waves and surface waves. Sound waves Sound waves are a type of energy that releases when an object vibrates. Those acoustic waves travel from their source through a medium, like air or water, when they come into contact with our eardrums. Our brains translate the pressure waves into words or music or signals we can understand. Life can be described as a wind. A changing electric 
field creates a changing magnetic field. This changing magnetic field then creates a changing electric field and boom, you have light. EM waves travel at 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second through a vacuum. EM waves is a transverse wave. When an oscillating charge accelerates, its electric field changes too. Regions of electromagnetic waves First, radio and TV. Radio and TV waves have the longest wavelengths and the lowest frequencies in the electromagnetic spectrum. They can be produced by making electricity oscillate in an aerial or antenna and are used to transmit sound and picture information over long distances. Microwaves are radio waves or very short wavelength. They are used in satellite communication because they can penetrate the ionosphere. A layer of Earth's atmosphere in which there is a high concentration of charged particles. Infrared waves are waves that lie in the region beyond the red end of visible spectrum. The wavelength of infrared waves is too low to be visible to the naked eye. Infrared radiation is most noticeable when given off by hot objects especially when objects are red hot. Visible waves Visible waves at about 700 degrees Celsius, the shortest waves present can be detected by the eye. These visible waves are what we call or what we know as light waves. Visible light makes up only a small portion of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. When white light passes through a prism, it is separated into constituent colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Violet has the shortest wavelength and red has the longest. There are no sharp boundaries separating the various colors. Instead, there is a continuous blending for one color to the next. Ultraviolet Ultraviolet waves are invisible radiation that lie beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum. Ultraviolet light has a shorter wavelength than violet light and carry more energy. The sun is our main source of ultraviolet light. X-rays X-rays have short wavelengths and high frequencies and are very penetrating. They are produced by the rapid acceleration of electrons in X-ray machines that collide with atoms. These atoms emit X-rays. X-rays with long wavelengths that can penetrate to flesh but not bone are used in X-rays photography to help doctors look inside the body. X-rays with shorter wavelengths that can penetrate through metal are used in industry to inspect welded joints or faults. All X-rays are dangerous because they can damage living cells and can cause cancer. Gamma rays. Gamma rays are high energy waves produced from nuclear reactions. They have shorter wavelengths than X-rays. Because energy changes within the nucleus are normally much larger than those that take place outside it. They are more dangerous than X-rays because radioactive substances emit them. For your activity one, much the scientists with their contributions in the development of the electromagnetic theory. For your activity 2, complete the missing information on the electromagnetic spectrum. That's all for today. Thank you and see you for our next lessons.